guys, Tammy Walters here. I'm here today with Janelle Johnson. She's a business coach, uh, speaker, and a trainer as well. So, welcome, Janelle. Thank Hi, you. Tammy. Glad to be here. Thanks for, mm -hmm. for coming along. So, I'm just going to jump right into it. We're going to do some questions today about your business and yourself. Brilliant. What was the driving force to becoming a coach and empowering people? Yeah, I, I think about these, these defining moments in your life. And for me, uh, and sometimes those defining moments can strengthen you and empower you, and other times it can put you back. Um, for me, there's three defining moments in my life. One was that my dad passed away when, he was set, when I was 17. And there was such a loss for me. And it was like, you know, I, I felt that really uncertain in my world. And then from there, I got into a relationship with a guy who uh, was abusive. So it was physical and mental abuse. And so that was straight off the back of losing my dad. Again, I started to feel disempowered um, and I felt lost and I felt alone. And I remember thinking to myself, I don't want anyone else to feel that way. Yeah. And, but I drew on, on inner strength at those times. And I remember thinking, well, I'm a lot stronger than I actually thought I was. And then the third defining moment was when I lost my baby. So I was seven months pregnant and I lost my baby. And again, there was uncertainty. There was, it was like, well, I felt alone. And again, drawing on that strength within myself to be able to say, hey, I've got this. You know, stuff happens in life. Um, I've got a belief that, that life is, is built with problems built in and, um, and I thought I, I can overcome this as well. So for me it was like I would love, I made that decision to help other people, to, to have those strategies to empower themselves in a moment. Um, it doesn't matter what life throws at you, you have inner strength that maybe you, you don't even realise. Yeah. Um, that can can help you through challenging situations. And everyone goes through tough times. And yeah. you know, I, I've heard that you're actually an advocate for suicide prevention. And um, what, what's your vision to help with this cause? Yeah, I'm really I'm an advocate for suicide prevention. Not that I've been personally touched in regards to suicide. However, I've coached a lot of people that have attempted suicide in the past. And I look at these amazing people and I think, wow, this beautiful human being may not have been on this planet if they had gone ahead and, and suicided. So yeah. for me, it was like, we, there's so many amazing strategies that we can use to empower ourselves and, and how we can communicate to ourselves. So my vision is to have coaches within every state around Australia teaching people the strategies of empowerment and how you can communicate to yourself in a way that's going to move you forward in your life. Yeah, and you mentioned communication there. So yeah. you know, networking and communication are such big parts of business practice these days. Um, in your role, why, why do you think that is? Tony Robbins says it right, uh, well. It's like the, who you surround yourself with is often who you become. So it's so important to surround yourself with like-minded, I call it like a tribe, your tribe of people that lift you up, challenge you, uh, challenge your level of thinking. And so networking is a great way to expose yourself in rooms where there's other people that have got different skills than you have and will challenge your thinking. That's right, yeah. yeah. And you know, you're keeping very busy in 2017, so many events coming up. Give us an overview of what you've got planned. Yeah, it's really exciting. <laughs> I've got uh, so I've got my three public speaking courses. So uh, my first one is finding your voice, which is the start of the, for the beginners or even people that have been speaking for a long time. Uh, getting into the room, understanding how you can effectively communicate to yourself as a speaker. So any nerves completely dissipate. I teach them a strategy to get rid of any nerves to be able to empower your state really quickly and to be able to communicate to all different personalities in the room, which is really important. So that's a one day course. 
Then I've got my Empowered Speaker two-day course, which is the next level up. It's more advanced, and we dive deep into the different types of behavioral profiles that we have in the room, how we can structure a presentation that you can remember without any notes. So I teach you a strategy with that. Uh, and then we've got the facilitation, Master's Facilitation course, which is a three-day program. It is targeted for, it's targeted for business owners, and what you'll, you'll learn there is to facilitate a room. And uh, you're going to talk on camera, and you walk away with a whole video for your business, a welcome video, which you can just pop onto your website. It's, to, it's fantastic. And you'll also get headshots from an award-winning photographer that you can have, take away, and uh, use for your business. So they're my public speaking. Yeah. Wow. And then I've got three different coaching courses as well, which are two-day intensives. One is being your own best coach, so teaching yourself the strategies of empowerment. The other one is behavioural profiling, so understanding the different types of personalities, and we dive really deep, we've got two days of that. And the third one is how you can coach your team to success, so it's more of a leadership program. Fantastic, yeah. that's a, a lot. Yeah, a lot and then I've yeah. also got champions of 2017 and um, the Breakfast of Champions, so I get it's a more of a networking group that I get together that can get into the room, challenge ourselves, lift our standards, and uh, yeah, it's a great a great day. Yeah, it definitely sounds yeah. like it, and I, I would encourage everyone to get along to one of those sessions, if not all of them. Um, yeah. You attend a lot of events yourself as well. I so do. Tony Robinson, uh, Tony, Tony Robbins, sorry. Yeah. You're um, going to a lot of his events in January. Yeah, I love Tony yeah. Robbins. I've been studying Tony's work, geez, since I was a teenager. So that's a long time. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm off to do his business mastery uh, course in Florida in 28 days, not that I'm counting. And uh, yeah, so I'm doing that in Florida in Jan. I'm also doing his date with destiny in May, uh, which is in the Gold Coast. And then off to Fiji and doing life and wealth mastery. So for me to, I've, I'm such an insatiable learner and for us to be, the master of our craft, whatever your craft is, we always need to be learning. It's a really big focus of mine when I map out my year every year. It's all about what am I going to learn so that I can be an even better version of myself and then I can filter my learnings to all of my clients, which is great. Yeah, so he must be a really key influence to you in your business. And you know, what was your experience at his events? Because they, here they can be quite crazy. Yeah, well some people say, oh, it's just all rah, rah. <laughs> when you don't understand the strategy around what Tony does, I get how people can see that. But he, he breaks people's state. And what that means is, if you're in a state of mind and you think this is, you know, Sometimes people think emotions just come to them. When you understand that you're in control of your state, that you can do stuff like walk on hot coals and they were freaking hot. Like they were <laughs> hot, steaming, red. Like you could smell them. And I actually walked, I walked on the coat, and I actually thought you might walk really fast, but you don't. So you walk just like one, two, like that. And I got to the end and my, my uh, the balls of my feet just went shh. And it was like they had blisters at the bottom of them. Uh, but I walked through it and then they just, for some reason, magically just disappeared. And uh, we have got so much strength within us that when you do stuff like that, and I've done a lot of different things with my trainings, that you really say, well, I, I can achieve more than I ever thought was possible. And that's in itself really empowering. And that's what I teach my clients. Yeah, so is that one of your key takeaways from his events that you know, by putting yourself out into the open, you can actually become a bigger and better person from it. Yeah, absolutely. And also being in a room where there's like-minded people, you know, always immersing yourself in rooms like that because you will be challenged, your, your mindset will be challenged. We all have these barriers of thinking. And so if we're in a room where, you know, if, if perhaps you're not a finance person, but you've got a financing person in front of you that will challenge you in regards to finances, that you will learn something that you can then take away in your business or in your life, and that's really important. So 
you know, what's your best piece of advice that you can offer your clients and, and the people that attend your events? Um, you know, you're gaining all of this knowledge from other people. Yeah. What do you give back to them? Yeah. Well, the biggest thing is that I teach them simple strategies on how they can effectively communicate to themselves and others. That's the simplest thing, being able to, doesn't matter what happens in your world, knowing that I've got this, being your own best coach at any moment. And you know, some of my clients have gone through immense tragedies uh, in their life and really, really challenging times. But to know that they can pull on a strategy like that and be able to empower themselves and be a role model for others um, this, uh, our life is all about relationships, so we have an amazing relationship with ourselves, and then we can have even better relationships with others. That, for me, is a fulfilling life. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, you know, building them relationships, you do a fantastic job of that. And, um, you know, I've seen on Facebook that you do a lot of live chats with different people. Yeah. And, um, you know, what's next for you? Do you want to go into a new role like that, like in interviewing people, or um, you know, is there anything else that you'd like to do? Yeah, my focus is to serve and touch as many people as possible. That is my focus. So I've got the suicide prevention, which is important. So that's a, a real strategy for me to be able to help people uh, empower themselves. But it's also about how many people can I coach and touch. So my workshops are one way to do that. I'd love to do a lot more speaking overseas and to get on radio or television to be able to teach people key strategies, just one little thing. And sometimes it's yeah. one model of thinking, a way of thinking that people go, oh my gosh, that's so simple. Yeah, yeah it absolutely. makes a massive difference to the way you see the world and see yourself and and to overcome challenges when they arise. Yeah, and it's always the little things that you don't realise that can make such a big impact. Yeah. Um, you know, even in the short term. So that's fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, 2016 has been such a huge year for you. 2017 looks even bigger. It is. What's your plans for 2018? If there 2018. are 2018, I've got. Well, I'll, I'll be stepping it up even more. I'm really wanting to focus on the suicide prevention, so that's a real focus for me, and doing a lot more overseas work. So, continuing on with my courses that I have throughout the year. Uh, but then going more international and global as well. Fantastic. Which is really exciting. Well, we look yeah. forward to you know seeing you get there. And for any events and information, please check out janellejohnson.com.au slash it. events. Yes, that's yes, it. So <laughs> get onto it, book your events now, and thank you very much for chatting to My us. My pleasure. Today. I've loved it. Thanks, Tammy. Thank you. Mm -hmm.